Hey, what's up everybody? Hammer Heart Metal Reviews here once again, doing another discography countdown of one of my favorite bands. Today I'm going to be talking about the progressive black metal legends Bork Nagar. Kind of started out as a, almost a super group, kind of, had members of Enslaved, uh, Gorgoroth, Ulver, just like all around solid lineup. There's really only been one guy that's been in it from the beginning, Oyston and Brun. I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, but the guitar player, just absolute master songwriter. Absolutely amazing stuff. This is one of the harder rankings I've ever done. I love pretty much everything they've done, but let's just get right into it. They've got 11 studio albums. I'm going to count them down from my least favorite to my favorite. Coming in last, this one's the one easy choice, is Origin from 2006. This is kind of an oddball album. They wanted to release an all-acoustic album. This is not really metal at all. It's just kind of going back to the roots, a very like folk-oriented acoustic album. It's still very nice for what it is. I don't mind it, but it's just a clear selection of the least, my least favorite Bork Nagar album because I'm more of a metalhead than the softer stuff as much as I do still like it. But uh, yeah, this was an easy choice. It's coming in last. There's still some good songs on here. They do an acoustic version of Ocean's Rise, which is kind of cool. And yeah, that's coming in at number 11. Coming in at number 10 from 2004 is the album Epic. This is still a great album. It's only coming last because I like some other albums better. But this is the second album, I believe, that featured Vinter Sorg on vocals. He took over. He's their third vocalist. They have always had epic vocalists. Vinter Sorg is no exception. I love his solo stuff. I love the stuff he does with Borg Nagar. And this is still a really great album. I'd probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. Some great songs on here. Traveler, really fucking catchy. Really like this one. Cyclist, really good song. This is just kind of a more avant-garde type of progressive black metal album. Some very weird stuff going on, but it's still catchy and it's still good. And if you like Bork Nagar, you know what you're getting. There's always going to be some kind of weirder stuff in there. It's not straight ahead metal. It's it always got some nice, interesting stuff to keep you guessing what's coming next. And this album was no exception, but it's coming in at number 10. Up next at number 9 from 2010 is Universal. This is also a Vinter Sorg album. Um, great songs on here are Havoc. And actually, they brought back ICS Vortex just to do vocals on one song, My Domain. And that's probably my favorite song on the album. It's almost like a ballad, but it's just so fucking beautiful. I absolutely love that song. Almost wanted to put this album higher because it is really fucking good. But I just like some other ones more. And that's why it has to come in at number nine. Coming up next at number eight is Empiricism from 2001. This was the debut for Vinter Sorg. I'm not sure why I have all these Vinter Sorg albums lower down. I do really fucking love them. I guess just overall some of the albums are not as good as a whole as some of the others. But there's still some other Vinter Sorg albums later on on this list. So don't worry. I'm not putting them all last. I do really love the guy. And I love this album as well. It's really fucking good. The Genuine Pulse, Inherit the Earth. Just great fucking progressive black metal songs. And this album is really fucking catchy. And I really like it. Let's move on to number seven. The second ICS Vortex album from 2000, Quintessence. He is their second vocalist. He's been in tons of bands. Dimu Borgir probably most notably. But uh, yeah, he really gained his fame in this band. And he's just fucking great. I love his vocal style. It's a little different than most others. But uh it's really good. Some great songs on here. Colossus, Genesis, Torn. It's got some really great raspy screams, but his clean singing is really where he knocks it out of the park. And this album is fucking great. Coming in at number six is their most recent, which is another ICS Vortex. This is when uh, Venture Sorg actually left the band because he had some hearing problems and then Vortex just took over again. This is from 2019, True North. He's doing the lead vocals as well. They do, their keyboard player also does a lot of the vocals on the album too. And this album is just fucking great. Up North, how catchy is that? It doesn't even really sound like a metal song. Clean singing the whole time. Almost like a psychedelic progressive rock song. Like The Fire That Burns, that's a great fucking track. Thunderous, just really, really fucking good. I absolutely love this album. And I absolutely love Borknagar. But let's get into the top five. Because this is where it gets really fucking juicy. And this is where it got really tough because I absolutely love all five of these albums. 
Coming in at number five is their debut from 1996, self-titled Borknagar. This is when they still had um, Ivar Bjornsson from Enslaved doing all the keyboards and synthesizers on here. Garm from Over was the lead vocalist. This is definitely their most black metal album out of everything. There's still some progressive elements in it, but this one's more straight ahead black metal. But it's really fucking good. Grim Scali Trell, really fucking good song. Uh, Winter Vedic Shogak Zagen. I cannot pronounce these Norwegian titles. But yeah, if you're more into the black metal side of things, this is probably a great album for you. But uh, it's just a great debut. What else can I say about this album? They definitely get more experimental and progressive as time went on. But this still deserves to spot my top five because it's a killer fucking album. Coming in at number four is Erd. This album had Vinter Sorg and ICS Vortex kind of trading off vocals as well as the keyboardist too. I can't remember his name, but absolutely great album. The Earthling is a really fucking cool song. Vinter Sorg's vocals sound so fucking good on there. Frostrite, Vortex's vocals sound so good on there. I love that they have both of them singing and it's just fucking great. Absolutely killer, <coughs> excuse me, absolutely killer album from 2012. Now into the top three, and these ones could be interchanged easily. These are all fucking 10 out of 10 albums. Absolutely love them. But for me right now, number three from 1998 is The Archaic Course. This is the first Vortex album, and wow, he blows it out of the park. Like, absolutely fucking amazing. Oceans Rise, Universal, Winter Millennium, just fucking killer track after killer track. Absolutely love this album. Could have easily squeezed into number two or number one. But right now I've got it at number three. Coming in at number two from 2016. I've got the poster right down there. Winter Thrice. This is the culmination of all eras of Borknagar. They brought in all the vocalists. It's just amazing. Garm did some guest vocals on here. Vortex was still singing. Vintersorg was on here. The keyboardist was still singing too. Just absolutely amazing fucking album. The title track, Winter Thrice, they have a video for. It's just so catchy and so killer. Erodent is great. Terminus, the end chorus, is just fucking amazing. Rhymes in the Mountain, absolutely amazing album through and through. Absolutely love it to bits. The only reason it's not coming in at number one is because there's one fucking classic here that I just had to put number one. I never get tired of it. It's absolutely killer. It's their second album from 1997, The Olden Domain. This still had Garm on lead vocals. And this just fucking great. They switched from just singing Norwegian to bring in some English so you actually know what they're saying. This does a very black metal edge to it. But also, Garm's clean singing is fucking so unique and so good. And the songs on here are just catchy. The Eye of Odin, The Winter Way, A Tale of Pagan Tongue, Grimland Domain, and of course the closing track, The Dawn of the End. The last fucking chorus on here is so fucking good. Autumn twice, river and rocks, a new kingdom rise, I close my eyes. Winter thrice, river and rocks, a new kingdom rise, I close my eyes. Just fucking good. Don't listen to me sing it. Go listen to fucking Garm. Nail that fucking chorus. It's just so fucking good. Absolutely amazing album. Belongs in anyone's collection that's into any sort of black metal or progressive black metal. It's just so fucking killer. Absolutely amazing 10 out of 10 album. Anyways, that's my list. Let me know down below what's your favorite Bork Nagar album. What's your least favorite? What'd you think of my video? Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Until next time, Hammerheart Metal Reviews out.